Hello everyone, and welcome to our YouTube storytelling session. Today, I'm going to share a Nigerian story about a couple facing some challenges in their marriage. This story is quite long, so get comfortable and let's begin. In a bustling city in Nigeria, there lived a couple named Adebayo and Folek. They had been married for five years and seemed to have it all. Adebayo was a successful businessman, while Folek was a high-powered lawyer climbing the corporate ladder. Folek was always busy with her work. She would leave early in the morning and come back late at night. She hardly had time to cook or clean the house. Adebayo often found himself eating takeout food or trying to cook simple meals for himself. One day, Adebayo decided he had enough. He told Folek, My dear, we need help around the house. I think we should hire a housemaid. Folek, barely looking up from her laptop, replied, Sure, whatever you think is best. I'm too busy to handle these things. So, Adebayo set out to find a housemaid. After interviewing several candidates, he hired a young woman named Blessing. Blessing was not only good at housework but also very attractive. She often wore clothes that showed off her figure. When Folek first met Blessing, she didn't pay much attention. She was too focused on an important case she was working on. But as days went by, she started to notice how Blessing looked at her husband, and how Adebayo seemed to enjoy talking to Blessing. One evening, Folek came home earlier than usual. She found Adebayo and Blessing laughing in the kitchen. Blessing was wearing a short skirt and a tight top. Folek felt a pang of jealousy. What's going on here? Folek demanded. Adebayo looked surprised. Oh, you're home early. Blessing was just telling me a funny story about her village. Folek didn't say anything, but she was not happy. From that day on, she started to suspect that something was going on between her husband and the housemaid. Folek decided she needed to do something. If Adebayo could hire a beautiful housemaid, she could hire a handsome driver. She thought this would make Adebayo jealous and pay more attention to her. The next day, Folek interviewed several men for the position of a personal driver. She chose a tall, muscular man named Chidi. Chidi was not only good at driving but also very handsome. When Adebayo met Chidi, he was surprised. I didn't know we needed a driver, he said. Folek smiled sweetly. Oh, I thought it would be helpful. You know how busy I am with work. Adebayo shrugged and went about his business. He didn't seem bothered by Chidi at all. Days turned into weeks, and Folek's plan wasn't working. Adebayo didn't show any signs of jealousy. Instead, he seemed happier than ever, spending more time at home and chatting with Blessing. Folek was frustrated. She started to stay late at work even more, trying to avoid seeing Adebayo and Blessing together. But this only made things worse. She was tired all the time and felt like she was losing her husband. One night, Folek came home very late. The house was quiet and dark. She went to the kitchen to get a glass of water and found a plate of food covered on the table. There was a note next to it that read, I made your favorite meal. Hope you had a good day at work. Love, Adebayo. Folek felt tears come to her eyes. She couldn't remember the last time she had cooked for Adebayo or even asked about his day. She sat down and ate the meal, thinking about how things had changed in their marriage. The next morning, Folek woke up early. For the first time in months, she decided to make breakfast for Adebayo. When he came down and saw her in the kitchen, he was surprised. What's the occasion? He asked. Folek smiled sadly. No occasion. I just realized I haven't been a very good wife lately. They sat down to eat together, and for the first time in a long while, they really talked. Folek admitted that she had been jealous of Blessing and that's why she hired Chidi. Adebayo laughed. Oh, Folek, I never looked at Blessing that way. I hired her because I missed you. I missed having someone to talk to, someone to share meals with. Blessing reminded me of how things used to be between us. Folek felt ashamed. I'm so sorry, Adebayo. I've been so focused on my career that I forgot about what's really important, our marriage. From that day on, Folek made an effort to balance her work and home life better. She started coming home earlier and cooking meals when she could. 
She and Adebayo hired her older woman as a housekeeper instead of blessing, and they let Chidi go, deciding they didn't really need a driver. It wasn't always easy. Folake still had a demanding job, but she learned to make time for her marriage. She and Adebayo started having regular date nights and weekends away together. As for Blessing and Chidi, they actually met at a local market one day and started dating. Adebayo and Folake ran into them months later and were happy to see them together. In the end, Folake realized that success in her career meant nothing if she lost the love and trust of her husband. She learned that marriage, like any important thing in life, needs time and attention to grow and thrive. Answer, Adebayo and Folake found their way back to each other, stronger and wiser than before. They learned that love isn't about making the other person jealous, but about supporting each other and working together as a team. That's the end of our story, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something too. Remember, in life and in marriage, it's all about balance and communication. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories like this one.